Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I have a large, kind of like a large Makeup Forever haul. And the reason for this haul is because they dropped a new blush, new highlighter. I think there's like six or eight different shades in the blushes. I was looking for this highlighter the other day at Sephora because I had to deliver like same day delivery and I couldn't find it. So maybe it'll be on their website. That way I can link it. But I also picked up a setting spray. I picked up a powder. Uh, I picked up a little shine control primer. And the reason for today's video is, of course, the launch of their new, I think this is a reformulated version, just like the foundation was. But this is their new HD Skin Smooth and Blur Undetectable con Concealer. And the shade that I picked up in this one is shade 1.3 N. Now I believe 1.3 N was described as a fair with neutral undertones. This concealer retails for $29. I believe there are 20 different shades available. It's going to provide a natural finish. Uh, you're going to have like a plumping effect. So um, it's going to help plump up the skin. It says it's good for dark circles. It has hyaluronic acid. It is going to be a hydrating concealer and it's supposed to be long wearing with medium coverage. So we're going to give all of this makeup forever makeup a good 10 hour wear test today on my channel. If it is your first time here, let me just say hello and welcome to all of you. And let me invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And if you're a fan of makeup forever, or maybe you just haven't tried the brand in a while, like me, it's definitely been a hot minute that I've had new makeup forever in my stash. Give this video a thumbs up before you go. Let me just preface this entire video by saying I am 41 years old with normal to oily skin. Right now, my major concerns are the fine lines under my eyes and large visible pores. I used to suffer from really bad acne, so I have some minor discoloration on the sides of my cheeks, um, as well as a little bit of scarring. So let's get started. Full face, practically full face of Makeup Forever products. If you guys want to see how this wear test is going to go, keep on watching. All right, so I'm just going to pin back my hair a little bit so it doesn't get in the way. There we go. Now we're going to start first with, I got the mini size. This is a shine control primer and it says it's obviously going to be mattifying. So let me give it a good shake. Most of these items were in stock at my local Sephora. So I do subscribe to that same day delivery and uh, everything arrived uh, Thursday and Friday. And today is Saturday when I'm sitting down to film this video. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like it is a mattifying, but also a gripping primer. There is a lot of tack to this. So I'm already expecting good things. Wow, there's a lot of tack to this primer. And they do have different versions of primer. They have like a redness reducing primer. They have a um, hydrating primer. And I think they have like a pore filling primer, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this is something that I reviewed last year on my channel. And this is, again, the reformulated HD Skin uh, Undetectable Stay True Foundation. The shade I have in this one is shade uh, 1N06. And N, of course neutral so this is like a fair to light neutral shade before i get started applying i want to just swatch the concealer and the foundation next to one another because obviously they are two different shades and yeah the concealer is definitely lighter so here is the concealer in 1.3 n and then here is the foundation in what did i say it was uh 1 n 06 so i typically go more for fair or fair to light with neutral undertones sometimes warm undertones those seem to be the um the shades that tend to work for me. Now, I wanna go in with concealer first, at least under the eye area. And in today's video, uh, since this is gonna be a wear test, I'm only gonna set one under eye area and then I'll set the rest of my face with the um, HD Ultra HD setting powder that I picked up. Also picked up 
mini size. So let me go ahead and get, let me look for a clean brush. Okay, so I'm going to use the M08 brush. This is one of the brushes that I picked up in a Timu haul. And it does perform really, really well. And I'll do the other side with a damp beauty sponge. Now, again, this is going to be a medium coverage concealer with a natural finish. Some of you, if you like the way this wears, if you're curious about it, but maybe you need a little bit more coverage, just use a color corrector under your eye area. Wow, I think that blended out really nicely. Okay. Just make sure to pat it all in. Okay, let me go in with my damp beauty sponge. Now, I think for this concealer, I'm going to recommend a brush or your fingertip. Just because I feel like the sponge has already soaked up some of the coverage. Although it does give it a nice finish. And this, this kind of feels like it might be a self-setting concealer. Didn't, um, did Makeup Forever come out with a self-setting concealer? I'm going to add a little bit more, but I'll do that after I do the foundation. Let's go in with foundation next. I don't remember, and I'm going to just use my damp beauty sponge. I don't remember if the previous version of concealer that Makeup Forever had that this is uh, apparently replacing. I feel like that was a self-setting conceal concealer and I did have it in my stash, but I've uh, since decluttered it because of age. This foundation is a nice foundation. The shade is a pretty decent shade match, maybe a little bit too dark for me, but this is a very long wearing foundation on my normal to oily skin. This definitely gets me a good 10 hour wear and beyond. I remember when I was doing my initial wear test last year over this foundation, uh, the second day, I actually ended up wearing it for like 15 hours, which I never typically wear my makeup for that long, but uh, I had gone out after work. And so by the time I got home and took off my makeup, it had already been about 15, 16 hours. So, and it didn't look half bad. I mean, it looked worn, but it didn't look absolutely terrible. Now I noticed there's a little bit of scent with the foundation, but there's no scent with the concealer. Okay, so now let me go back to the concealer and we're gonna do a little bit of spot concealing right here on the sides of my cheeks. I'm so excited to try the new blush and highlighter. I'm pretty sure the highlighter is new. I don't know why I couldn't find it on the Sephora website yesterday. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram of my of this haul video and I was like, where's the highlighter? So I don't know. Hopefully it'll pop up today. I'm actually thinking that's giving pretty good coverage. Everything, the entire complexion is looking really good. That mattifying primer, it really is a mattifying primer. Like it feels like a mattifying primer. So I think our complexion looks pretty full coverage. Before I go in with powder products, I'm gonna go in with the setting spray and this is the Mist and Fix 24 hour hydrating setting mist. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a very fine mist. All right, now we're gonna go in with the Ultra HD uh, setting powder. This is a micro finishing loose powder. And again, I did get the mini size in this. I'm just gonna pat out any creases. This does feel like it's setting itself. I think I'm gonna set the right eye. And then of course, I'm gonna go in with my, the setting powder on the T-zone. Now I don't have a Makeup Forever bronzer, so I brought out my Charlotte Tilbury one, and then uh, of course we'll use the new uh, blush and highlighter. They have a new setting powder. It's like a tri-color setting powder. I was tempted to get it, but I've been buying a lot of loose powders lately, lately, lately <laughs> especially like pink lavender powders. So that's why I refrained I didn't get that one. 
Okay, now I don't know that I like the way this powder is laying like right in this area. Hmm, maybe even a little bit right here. Oh yeah, and up here, look at that. Mm, that doesn't look good. Look, and all right here. <sighs> this looks terrible. I think I'm going to redo it. I think I'm going to redo it. I don't know what the issue is with that setting powder, but this looks like a hot mess. Um, I don't really know that I want to stay like this throughout the day. I'm going to redo it. At least you got to see it in action. I'm going to come back. I'm not going to show you guys the reapplication, but I'll be right back, clean this mess up, and then we'll move on. All right, so here's how the complexion is looking. Let me tell you what I did. I kept the primer strictly to my T-zone and my chin. I did not take it out over here to the sides of my cheeks. Uh, I did set this under eye area only. I went in with the Sugar Drizzle um, Sugary Sweet Loose Setting Powder. This is the shade Banana, and I also used that to powder down the T-zone. I did not powder down the sides of my cheeks. I figure we're gonna be using um, powder, bronzer, blush, and highlighter, so that will suffice. But I think everything is looking better, and of course I did add the setting spray and same foundation. So now we're gonna go in with bronzer. Like I mentioned, I don't have a Makeup Forever bronzer, so I'm just gonna use my powder bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the shade two. And I'm using my BK, what is this? The 107 brush. And I typically just keep my bronzer to my forehead and my nose. Okay, now we're going to go in with the new blush. I got an orange one, and they have matte versions, and they have um, glowy versions. So I got the one that had a little bit of shimmer in it. This one is called Artist Blush in the shade Hot Lava. I'm using a Beach Cosmetics brush, and let's see what we're going to get. Ooh, pretty orange. Good pigmentation. Seems to be blending out very easily. I like this color. I like this color a lot. This could even replace bronzer. I mean, it's a good thing I didn't bring my bronzer down to the cheekbones. I really haven't been doing that much lately. Just really playing up the blush, but this is a nice orange shade. And I do see a little bit of a glow. It's not like that in your face glow. I think it's just the perfect amount. All right, and the last product that I have from Makeup Forever to try out is this new highlighter. This is the Artist Highlighter in the shade Bouncy Lilac. And I'm gonna use my HOA Studio F19 brush. Apply that here. I think the contrast of the lilac and the orange is going to be very pretty. Just using the blush brush with no additional product just to blend everything. Okay guys, so here is the complexion. Um, I don't have like mascara or brows from Makeup Forever. I don't even think I have a Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette. So I'm just gonna take care of all of that off camera, but this is gonna be a 10 hour wear test, mainly on these complexion products and mainly on their new HD concealer. And once again, this is my right eye. This is the eye I did powder down and this is my left eye and I didn't put any powder. I feel like it's already again setting itself. It feels lightweight. Um, again, I would recommend if you have darker circles, use a co color corrector first and then go in with this because this is going to be a medium coverage. But I like the way everything is looking now. Maybe I just put too much primer on or maybe the powder. I didn't go back in with this powder at all. I think this is something I'm going to have to return because, yeah, it looked, it made the makeup look a hot mess. So I'll be back a little bit later after lunch. I'll show you guys how the makeup is wearing. And then at the end of the day, we will wrap up this 10-hour wear test trying out these new Makeup Forever products.
Hey guys, this is the 5 Hour Check-In, trying out these new Makeup Forever products. Look at that blush and highlighter, still intact after 5 hours. This is the under eye area that I did powder down and I think it looks fantastic. This is the other under eye that I did not powder, I did not set, and I can see that it kind of settled into the little fine lines that I have. But other than that, I think the makeup is looking really good. I'm really happy with it, loving the cheeks, and I'm loving the this side this under eye area five more hours to go and then i'll be back and we will wrap up this new makeup forever haul that i did the other day so stay tuned okay guys we've come to the 10 hour mark of me wear testing pretty much this full face of makeup forever products i did take a little bit of a nap i wasn't expecting to i just lay down and then i fell asleep for about an hour and i fell asleep on this side but look, the blush and highlighter are still on. I think that the under eye concealer looks fantastic. And this is the right eye. This is the side that I did powder. I used the Sugar Drizzle Banana Setting Powder and it paired perfectly. Now this is the other side. Look, cheek highlighter still intact. Makeup is pretty intact. I mean, I think I could use a little touch up with setting powder, but 10 hours of wear. This foundation is definitely a long wearing foundation. If you haven't tried it, it does come in a travel size. So maybe that's an option for you just so that way you can get it home and try it and see how you like it. Um, but this eye, I did notice that the concealer settled just a little bit. So it does feel like a self-setting concealer. I definitely felt that right away, but it did settle a little into the fine line. So I'm going to recommend you go in with your favorite setting powder just so it can kind of smooth it out and keep it from creasing. I do think it is a hydrating concealer that is a true medium coverage with a natural finish. Now I do have some alternatives. Let me grab them over here if you're looking for a new a new concealer another new concealer that just came out that is going to give you medium coverage with also like a natural slash radiant finish um this one from smashbox this is the halo healthy glow four in one uh perfecting pen the shade i have in this one is shade uh f20n this is a nice one, especially if you don't want to set your under eye area with setting powder. I liked this without setting powder. Um, I also think uh, going back to, let's see, I have them over here. Let me grab them. Uh, something at the drugstore. I think this one, the Maybelline Superstay would be a nice one to check out. Now this is going to be full coverage and this is going to give you more of a matte finish, but you can set or not set this one as well. I feel like even though this is a medium coverage, I'm still pleased with the coverage I got. I, I don't feel like I need like an under eye corrector or anything, but if you have darker circles than I do, which I don't have a lot of darkness under my eye, then uh, you might want to go in with your favorite color corrector and then go in with this concealer. I also thought about another self-setting concealer, which is this one from Lawless. I do enjoy this one. This is the Conceal the Deal Full Coverage Concealer. Um, this is a nice one, and you can find this one at um, Sephora. The shade I have in this one is shade, let's see, um, what is it? Is it oatmeal? No, cream puff. This is the shade I have in this one, cream puff. Then the last one I thought about is one that is relatively new to my stash, and it is the reformulated Armani Power Fabric Concealer, also another full coverage matte finish. But uh, this one does look good both ways with or without setting powder. So those are my options for you. I hope uh, you found this Makeup Forever haul review wear test helpful. It had definitely been a long time since I had added any new Makeup Forever products into my stash. And I'm so uh, thankful that I was able to pick some of these up. I'm definitely loving the blush and the highlighter. I don't know where the highlighter is. I don't know if maybe Sephora released it early yesterday and then they shouldn't have because it's gone, but I can't even find it on the Makeup Forever website. So just know that the highlighter, which let me grab them over here. Hold on one second. The highlighter I have uh, in shade Bouncy Lilac, it will be coming up soon. 
If it's not there tomorrow, it's going to be there in a couple days because I don't know why it was there yesterday, not today. And then the blush, again, the shade I picked up is called uh, Hot Lava and I love it. Let me know your thoughts. Are you going to be picking up any of these Makeup Forever products? The only dud for me is the setting powder. I am going to return that, but everything else I am definitely keeping and you will see me use it in the future. But let me know your thoughts now, guys. What did you think of today's wear test? Are you going to be picking up the new concealer? Leave it in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. And I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.